the gold medalist, outstanding, dominant international amateur, and uh, now a dominant that he can dominate this division and move like to have fun. And that he does. Good hook by Unchunu. I remember watching big heavyweights try to deal with Levi Phillips, who was. left until it's gonna matter until it's gonna definitely land this going to <laughs> <laughs> first of all he didn't get, it's a little different than this case until Griffin is silver medalist by the way yeah he's great good unleashed the left hand much at all and Juno has been able to land a couple of times upstairs just trying different things trying to set up a big shot seeking to hurt him to the counters rhythm that throws other fighters timings off Roy yeah uh, his, his, his rhythm throws it on you or when he's gonna take the lead on you and right there Usyk thought he had a left hand but it was the fans of the world have their own styles and rhythms to their style Eastern European has a kind of a real good boxer he's a cute boxer you don't really see that from South Africa usually we see gaps I think also that the world is becoming this right jab and that's not a good thing because there you go that go a good shot now he's throwing a good left hand because he needs to get respect from their around with him he's gonna be dead serious he's gonna like that he's gonna right on top of thing now Usyk throwing some real and most particularly in the last minute he's been countering freely and starting to land oh good shot by Umchuno good punch against you no it wasn't it was the same thing as usual as my hand speed uh, my hand speed and my knowledge of the game uh, that that was but at the same time when he got out he was beating a lot of guys oh. and he was doing his thing figured something out in the last round it looks like that he's employing here back foot let me get inside a little bit yeah as as he was throwing throwing shots that are really not big shots and if Umchunu throws a big right overhand left I mean and these are the kind of you know these are the rounds where the class generally starts to tell the middle of Good shot by Usyk. Terrific that we'll see why there's so much enthusiasm about Alexander Usyk. One of the things, it's a mixed bag with for 80 or 90 mile an hour pitch until they find the opening like that. Say through the right hook yep. speed. Bashir, who has been his trainer since the beginning of his pro career, is no slouch. No, not at all. And he comes back with an unimpeded left counter shot, but that's all right. Usyk is in, and he appears to be getting worn down here now as Usyk is throwing freely. Good left hand. Good, Good counter left by Umsuno. But he throws the big ones with big speed. The, the, at, at the top levels of and capable of switching directions and shifting gears the way he does. And he's got Umsuno. And Usyk has already scored two knockdowns and piling up a lead. <laughs> There's something playful. Quick right hook. Usyk landing punches in bunches once again. There's a couple of quick counter moments to put on a show. <laughs> oh, and you hit shot. me. Big left hand over the. And it's hard against the guy like Uchuno. But see those punches right there too. And with that cup being up over his navel, there's not much room there to throw to the body. Hard to be that kind of showman against an awkward guy. And before you have to Google Ali Ryder's astrological sign. Well, of course, Jim. I mean, come on. If you're a Capricorn, <laughs> I mean, no. It doesn't get any better than that. And Usyk, a Capricorn in this fight. He had him surrounded, and Imchuno said, let me get down here before oh, he lands a punch. Shot. Good counter shot by Imchuno. Not a good shot. He has in 30 seconds. Oh, After yeah. going down for the second time, and there's the third knockdown. It's a very impressive performance by Usyk against a guy who wasn't called a center.